Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro. It is time to start playoffs once again. Now this could be the penultimate playoff run or it could be the final one. I'm not sure yet. I will go ahead, finish this one off. We'll see what happens and then go from there. Maybe I'll do like a poll on YouTube or something. Because really, no matter what happens, I could kind of see an argument for it. If we get swept in the first round, then I could see, come on, you got to try once more. But I could also see, you got swept in the first round, maybe just pack it in. If we go all the way to the Stanley Cup final, don't get it done. Same thing, I could see both sides. On one end, it's like, you made it that far, didn't win, clearly it wasn't meant to be. On the other, it's like, so close, you got to try one more time. And even if we do somehow manage to win the cup... Same thing, because I could see, you know, we gotta go for the repeat, or retire on a high note. Either way, we will deal with that at a later date. For now, it is time to start the playoff run against the Minnesota Wild. Let's go ahead, sim up to our first game, and we are probably gonna get bombarded. James just loves interrupting me. Win your first two playoff games, that's a little bit better than the high score one, whatever that means. I've read a comment about it and I already forgot. The Wild ended up finishing in 10th and we did get the President's Trophy. So, let's go to Stat Central and see what we are going up against here in the first round. Minnesota Wild. They have Seth Jarvis as their top point getter with 87. They still have Kirill the Thrill, who got 64 points. Played 82 games and he's 92 overall. That is surprising. Braden got 64. They have Roger McQueen. I feel like we've seen this guy before. Oh, they have Marchenko. No way. Der Aguchinstev, Matthew Joseph. They have to have a good goalie, right? You would think? Pardon me? I know this is obviously going to backfire, but this should be the easiest first round ever. Let's find out if we can get the job done. Sim game... We need a solid Chicago run here. That's a great start. Coronado right off the bat on 78 overall Vasilevsky. He is washed at this point. But once a gamer, always a gamer. He could come out here and absolutely steal the show. So although on paper, his overall doesn't look great, we still got to be very cautious. Klim Costin makes it 2 nothing. And Roger McQueen cuts the lead down to one. Yeah, good job! 2-1 game, heading into the third. Let's go close it out. I want a good start here. This could set the tone for the entire playoffs. So we have to do well. We have to come out in this third flying. And so far, well, minus that. I liked what I was seeing up until that point. I sort of feel like Coronado is like the new Marchenko. You know, like the overall isn't anything outstanding, but for some reason they just seem to get points. What a hit. Sit down, Kirill the Thrill. Yard sale as well. The bucket is gone. Now that is a great tempo setter. And if we score here, that would just be the icing on top. Okay, well, they're going to score. Amazing. I love point shots. They're the best thing in the world. I guess I got to try cutting the angle off on those a little bit better because the tips in front are absolutely lethal. Another glove save right in the oven mitt. And a pass nearly across the crease. Not ideal, but it worked out, so I'll let it slide. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, that almost plinkoed its way in. I don't know why, but I just feel like out of it almost like I need to wake up here got to get my head in the game nice point shot unfortunately ours wasn't tipped get out of here Seth you are not scoring another goal this entire series I'm shutting you down you hate to see it you hate to see it I was already celebrating and that puck said no, I'm coming back this way. Just score. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely love that. I was going to say, if we don't score there, ridiculous. We had so many chances right in front of the net. I was almost convinced that if we didn't get a goal there, we were just going to lose. Because it wasn't meant to be. But alas, the boys pulled through and now... 
Thank you for being there, 2-0. Big save there. And again, the defense in the middle. Really enjoy the way they are playing in this third period and in the playoffs so far. Am I right? No, 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 no. Not a point shot again. Not a point shot again. Okay, this time it wasn't tipped. I saw it from the moment it released from his twig. Robbins is on one this game. Beautiful feed in front. Did he just take a penalty? No, he didn't. I have no idea how that guy fell in the corner. But you know what? If he got away with it, fine by me. Dropped him like a two-foot putt. Could have put him in the bench, but, you know, decided to show a little bit of respect and just flatten him to the ice. Three minutes left. Come on here, boys. We can do this. For once, I don't have to worry about being pulled, so I'm not going to have to constantly be swapping between the two cameras. What a save by Vazzy. Maybe Minnesota is just going to be one of those teams where everyone kind of underestimates them, but everybody just buys in, and somehow they end up giving us an incredible fight here. Great saves, Vazzy. Again, 78 overall, and this guy is still deleting us. Another big one, 4.8 seconds. I think it's safe to say Chicago takes game one. Draw win seals the deal, or does it? I would have been fuming if we just sent them on a B-way. I don't know if they would have got there on time, but it was not a risk I was willing to take. 28 shots and two goals. We had 40 with only three. So yeah, both goalies did quite well. Oh yeah. All hype after a game one dub. What do you want from me? I want you focused. Push your limits and rally the team. We can win this and bring the cup home. You are absolutely correct. We can do that. I think the real question is, will we? And the answer is still yes. Game two, our chance to take a commanding series lead or Minnesota's chance to tie it up and make it a best of five before we do head on the road. Let's hope that we win both at home. And we're going to find out now. Again. 35 seconds in, we get a goal from Pasta. Bedsy makes it two. Keep going. I want to see another one. Thank you, Anderson. They just got their first shot of the game with five minutes left in the first. Safe to say, that was a dominant first period. Another one from Pasta making it four nothing. They have three shots. Okay, four now and they score. And look who it is. It couldn't have been anyone else. All right, let's chill here for a second. I thought they scored another one. I'm so happy that- was that a hat trick? That was a hat trick, right? We are nearly quadrupling them in shots. This game should not be this close. Let's get after it here. This should be a guaranteed win, but I will say that I have seen bigger third period comebacks than this, so definitely cannot rule them out by any stretch of the imagination. Great save to keep his team in it. Sure. I've never seen that one before. That's new. Okay. All right. His fourth goal of the game. By the way, Sue! Get out of here, and I'm forced to smother it. Otherwise, you already know I would have thrown it out. Come on now. Another save. What are you doing, Sergachev? ASAP Sergs. Never do that again. Okay, I'll tell you once. I will definitely tell you twice as well. What is happening right now? Can I just, like, I'm a brick wall. I don't know how they scored those two goals. Because it's impossible to put a puck past Scott. Great shot block. Even with the score. As out of control as it is, we still have teammates putting their body on the line. This could be the year. Disgusting. Absolutely foul. And no, I am not going to ignore the fact that that one-timer from Bedsy was a literal laser beam. It was on his stick, and then it was rebounded. Like, instantly. All right. Headed to the power play. We definitely don't need it. But we will take it. Again, forced to smother it. Do not 
let this harm my reputation. I, I think. Do not quote me on this. I think I saved it. Moment of truth. The puck was released. Yep, I definitely, hold on. I gotta try, it's like really sensitive here. And, yep, saved it. Not a big deal. Ka-chow! How's that for a save? It was a pretty mid save. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I won't overhype it. But that one was on, no, again, another mid save. But we are padding the stats here, which we need because, yeah, they had, what, eight shots? So we just shot a puck on net, and it revealed to me that Vasilevsky has officially been pulled from the net. This is great news. No. Wait, you think you're gonna pull off a little move in front of the net on me? Think again, bucko. Wonderful puck movement. Absolutely outstanding. And goalie was with it the whole time. Credit where it's due. Wonderful save by whoever's in that. I don't even honestly know who that is. Seth, your goal scoring stops here. No more. Will you score in this series? Have I already said that? And you did score? Yeah. Yeah, but this time I mean it. Last time I was just joking. There was nothing serious about it, but now... Not so much. Great hit on Marchenko. Loving the physicality from our... I'm loving everything. Just keep doing what you're doing. And we'll be fine. You didn't have to do that to them. You did not have to do that to them. But I kind of love it. That does it. It is time to head to Minnesota. And we have a 2-0 series lead. And also... An 8-2 win. That is unbelievable. Oh yeah, I brought the stats back, baby. They had 22 shots. Good stuff. Oh yeah, we had that promise to win the first two games. Well... Promise success, my friend. Not a big deal over here. Let's see if we can go 3-0. Wouldn't that be spectacular? Do it again. Let's score within the first 10 seconds this time. Well, no. That didn't happen. And they got the first goal. I don't like that. Super not big on them getting the first goal. And us not scoring a single goal in that period. But that's all right, because Pasta gets a... 20 seconds apart. You certified mad lads. Trennan adds to it. We now have the insurance marker. And will that be our situation heading into three? Yes. Yes, it is. I love where we are right now. We have a cushion in this game. We're up 2-0 in this series. If we do win this, we'll be up 3-0 on the brink of a sweep. I tried to cut off the angle a little bit more that time, and I feel like that's what I gotta do for point shots because it's the only way you can save those tips, really. That was nothing short of pathetic. And now I feel like I'm gonna pay for that. No, I won't. Huge save. And of course, it's going over to you, Kevin, who coughs it up right in front of the net. My doing, mostly. Okay, I need to focus here for a second because I got very lucky on this side of the net. Other side kind of knew what I was doing. Didn't get so lucky that time. And he does the dive. Okay, so on that note, they're within one. We should uh, go get a goal of our own and reestablish that two-goal lead. Solid plan. Thanks, I know. I thought they were actually going to do it. It's very close, to be fair. And here comes Roger. No goal by Seth in this game. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm going to need this clock to move like a little bit faster. Get up, get up, get up. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Reveal yourself. Who are you? All right. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Might have gotten like a little bit. 
overconfident for a second there. But to be fair, they are getting some unbelievable chances here. I think the whole team kind of just shut down. So how about we shut up and start doing good? Should not have been close at all. Our defense had it. Then he didn't. Holy smokes. Okay. Get control here. Settle down. Did they take one? Oh, that's huge. That is huge. I was strictly doing this to get a thumbnail, but I mean, come on. What a save. Let's get a peeper here. Win this game. Win the next one. Go on to win the Stanley Cup and live happily ever after. Sounds like a pretty good plot to me. Great save by Vazzy. We're not done there, though. We have so many unbelievable shots out there right now. We have Betsy, Pappy, and Pasta. What more could you ask for? Do it. You should have just, like, not passed it, maybe. I feel like you had a clear-cut path to the net. I do appreciate the teamwork, all right? Looking out for your boys. You want your dogs to eat. I get it. Sometimes you got to be a little selfish, though. Wasn't ready for that one. Their defense just saved their entire series. Their season. That's a wild no-look pass. Ridiculous, in fact. And here comes Minnesota. McQueen lets it go. What are we doing here? What are we doing? All right, back to the point. My least favorite thing. It used to be behind the net. No longer. It is the shots from the point that catch me off guard. Another penalty. Come on. We have to score here. We have to. Now that was strange. Their goalie went to do like the playing the puck animation. And kind of just like swatted it away. We don't have Peeper 1 out there right now. But maybe we don't need him. I guess it hit the bendy part. Hopefully, we make it to overtime here. Like, what was that? That was terrible. Unbelievable save on McConnell Parker. That is a name and a half. Shots are 41 to 33, so we're actually being outplayed here. Wait, you guys all of a sudden play in your own barn and you think you can put up a fight? We'll see about that. Nifty little glove shave. Don't you dare. Do not dare keep that puck in our zone. All right. That could have been outstanding. There's no way. What a pathetic goal, man. Once again, I'm glad that we end the episode on that note because I get to come back with a clean slate next time I record. It's like it never happened. That L is definitely on Scott, all right? Claim full responsibility. We had a 3-1 lead going into the third period. That should be more than enough and we just couldn't get it done. But the good news is we are still up 2-1 in the series. Although there will be no brooms, I still like what I'm seeing here. Past us six points, Matthews with five, and Matt with four in three games. Then we have a few point of game players as well. Our stats are all right. We have a 913 and 263. We take it. So this is the current playoff tree. And the only goose egg I see is Toronto against the Bruins. Other than that, it looks like every series is 2-1. Well, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you as always. If you could like and subscribe, that would be fire. And I will see you soon.